I was worth four dollars. Mm. Hey, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a day off, so I'm just going to go through a random day kind of vlog. Today is Friday the 13th. Ooh, scary. So I have class pass, which is awesome, and I usually use it all around in the city. But recently, I don't know if it's like I just rejoined a couple months ago and didn't realize, but there's so many more classes near me that are offered. So today I'm going to go take hot yoga just like a town or two over from me. And I'm really excited. I have a couple groceries that I need to pick up. And then I was going to do an updated link check for you guys. Because, like, I haven't done one since maybe March or April. Earlier in the year, in January, I used the Gemini Naturals to color my hair. And I realized the other day, I was like, let's use that again. So I'm actually going to come back here. I'm going to wash my hair. I'm not going to do a whole routine because I recently washed my hair already. So I'm just going to do maybe a co-wash. And then I'm going to put that stuff in my hair the bronze beauty and probably put it in a twist and then take it out tomorrow for uh, the weekend and then we'll see how it goes throughout the week. Last time it lasted about a week. That's pretty much the extent of my day. It's very chill, very casual. It's Friday. So stay tuned. First up is some hot yoga. I forgot I wanted to show you guys this Flamingo, the video that I did on the worst reviewed uh, razor. Um, they were so kind to me and they sent me this like care package I guess you could call it um, with so much stuff in it and I just like couldn't even believe it they sent me another razor um, some cartridges this lotion which looks really cool um, they're a cruelty free brand and I just like and they're affordable and so they're located in Target I literally just did that video as like uh, giving my honest reviews like I didn't expect anything from them i didn't expect them to see it um but they've been so 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 kind and i can't believe they sent me this entire like travel kit and then they threw in like a lush exfoliator which is awesome because i love lush i already used it um but the best part is that like they sent the ingredients guide and like tagged the page of like what product they got me and i just feel like that was just so on brand because i'm always talking about ingredients and checking to see that they're vegan and everything like that like they really took the extra step um and check out that video if you're interested in an affordable razor okay so i just got out of yoga oh my god it was so hot. I like, I do take yoga, hot, hot yoga, but this was like really hot, kind of like the Bikram level hot um, and really, really, really athletic. This is like the type that I wanted. Um, so I like got really exhausted during one of the parts and I was like, okay, I need to like stop and sip water. Um, but I'm just changing bags. I'm now going to take one of these bags in to the grocery store. And I've got my Lululemon one right here too. And I think I'm going to have to bring my water in because, like I said, I'm pretty exhausted. So, I'm now going to go get a couple groceries. And I also forgot, I need to um, I need to wash my car, finally. I got some car wash soap on Amazon, of course. And I decided I'm going to try it out. And hopefully, hopefully it works. So, maybe I'll vlog that. By the way, this is that really good mac and cheese. I swear by it. $2.99 is really good. So I'm gonna get those. Oh, whoa, those look new. Oh my gosh, what? I think I need to try those. That looks delicious. Okay, so $4.59 is a little bit high, but this looks insane. Sausage home style gravy and then this one has some kale in it this one looks really good too oh a steak and egg sounds good especially since it's not something i think i would ever have i believe these are the ones that are vegan friendly let me double check whole wheat flour water yeast brown sugar wheat gluten culture of wheat flour vinegar yellow cornmeal yeah these are the ones, Vermont bread, that are vegan. And they're two for five, so I'm gonna get two. That was 
wasn't too bad. My total was like $39 or so. I can't wait to try that breakfast thing at some point. That looks like it's gonna be really, really, really good. Now I'm gonna head back home, put these groceries away and shower and get started on my hair. Okay, so now that I'm back home, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna spray this all over my mat. It's kind of like a cleaning spray. I got this actually on Amazon. It's in the lavender mint scent. It doesn't have very many ingredients. It's just distilled water with hazel essential oils, eucalyptus, and tea tree essential oil. And I'm gonna spray that all over to just kind of clean down my mat. Even though I had a little mat thing over it, it's still, you know, I still sweat a lot. So I just spray this all over and it smells so 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 good all right i got my favorite madam secretary i love the show going on in the background and here's the groceries i got so not a lot of stuff like i mentioned these are vegan friendly we tried out this one obviously says vegan on it they're really really good um i got these three for ten dollars i don't know why i got so many i just thought it was a deal got the greens I'm gonna probably freeze one of these so that um, when I have to I can use it later on so that I don't have to feel like I need to rush to go through all them and then I got some mushrooms so just quick avocados and then <clears throat> this was the kombucha that I was talking about while but basically one of them has avocado on top and the other one the avocado is under um, and then this is my kale mix with some tomatoes and mushrooms and then on the English muffins I have some of this go veggie vegan cheese I'm just going all out it's Friday woohoo um, so I'm gonna eat that with my kombucha and I'll also be drinking my water try to get that intake and now I'm going to Enjoy this. It looks so good. Yum. All right, so I just washed my hair. And I wanted to mention what this thing that I'm using now. So YouTube suggested to me this video about fenugreek and how it's really good for your hair so I watched the video and the girl made a spray that looks basically like this and then I watched like five more videos to figure out what I wanted to do but basically I went on Amazon I bought this little bag of fenugreek seeds it's also known as methi or met methi seeds um, it's basically an Indian seed that's probably used for a lot of their foods and stuff like that but it's apparently supposed to be really good for um, as like almost as a leave-in conditioner it's very conditioning for your hair or like very detangling it's supposed to be really good for hair growth you know I love to just keep on adding on these hair growths in addition to my black seed oil Jamaican black castor oil um, what else do I use I forget so oh and tamanu oil um, but yeah so what I did is that I decided to do one cup of water that I boiled and then I did two tablespoons of these seeds I put that in a container mixed it overnight or let it sit overnight in the morning I just strained it took the seeds out and then I have this little mixture and I've had it for a couple days and I also bought the spray bottle I get so I just fell right into it. I was like oh I want a spray bottle but to be honest this doesn't spray like how I thought it was going to I really wanted it to be misty and I don't know where oh you'll see when I spray it it to me it's a little too more of like a direct spray like I really wanted like a mist one so don't buy this one I'm not gonna link it down below because I don't think that um, it's worth promoting you see it just like drops out um, yeah so don't get that one Here's how it looks at the end. Um, the only thing I wish I could do still is like put something on it that would lock in the color because as I mentioned in my last video, what ends up happening is that like water, things like that, um, touching it, I'll get stuff on my hands. So I only wish that there was a way that you could like lock in the color. Okay. 
Here's what it looks like. Okay, yeah, so that's the lighting. And just in case I don't do any more updates or whatever, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.